Hello, hello, everybody. Karen Katz here, Authentic Speaking Coach. Super excited to share with you three tips that you must do in order to keep enhancing and developing your speaking journey. These three things, you're going to want to do them every single time you speak when you're done, right when you're done. Don't think about it. Don't take a breather. Just as soon as you're done, you're going to start with tip number one. That's because the perfectionist within us can jump in real quick and want to immediately notify us of all the things that we could have done better which there's always a possibility of improvement. There are tons of areas of improvement. We are evolving perfection and it's totally fine, but we just want to embrace and appreciate and honor that we have taken this big step, put ourselves out there with courage and boldness, stepping out of our comfort zone to do something that feels a little uncomfortable. So, before that perfectionist even kicks in, the first thing we're going to want to do is write down three things, three things that you absolutely loved about your experience. Three things you did amazingly well, whatever that is for you. It could be the way you smiled, the way you handled yourself, the way you answered the questions, the way you expressed yourself, whatever that is for you. Just make sure you write it down so that you can go back and review anchoring those feelings, those powerful emotions that are related to that experience. And now there's going to be an association with that. So next experience you have speaking, you can build up from there. So no matter what area of improvement there is, the first thing is three things you're super proud of and you did great. There is always area of improvement and you can process that later on. There's a space for that too. We will talk about that. But for now, the first thing is really contact that space of, wow, I am so proud of myself. Look at these three things that I did. Super proud. And in that tone of pride and satisfaction with what we've done, stepping out of our comfort zone. Tip number two, celebrate yourself in whichever way. It could be something super small, like a, a walk or eating something that you truly enjoy, or maybe something a little bit bigger. It might be time to take a, get a massage, get your nails done, get your hair done. Whatever that is for you that truly brings you that sense of reward and satisfaction, recognizing, owning, and honoring that you've taken this big step and you've done it. You're entitled to celebrate yourself. Tip number three, choose someone, whoever that is. I'm doing it with you guys here. Pick anybody that you want and share what you created whatever that is it was a facebook live or it was an actual presentation on stage or it was like in my case an interview that i had today with dave stelma the creator of creating successful coaches it was a fabulous experience there's a one hour packed video filled with tips on embracing your inner speaker and really getting out there comfortably and easily, making an easy shift in your mindset of how easy it could be to get speaking engagements, to start practicing and building that muscle, embracing that inner speaker within you. I'm super happy to share all those tips with you, so I've put it, the link in the page in the post below. So I hope you enjoy it. And I hope you enjoy these three tips that are essential for whenever you do anything where you're stepping out of your comfort zone and speaking and sharing yourself out there with the world. Wishing you a phenomenal day and evening, wherever it is that you are. Namaste.